video, we're going to have a look at working with vectors. Specifically, we're going to look at how to multiply vectors by scalars and also how to add and subtract vectors. Specifically, in this example, we're given three vectors, v1, which is 2, 5, 0, v2, which is negative 7, 1, negative 1, and v3, which is negative 2, 0, 1, and we're asked to find the vector combination 2v1 minus v2 plus 3v3. So before we go ahead and take this up together, go ahead and try this on your own. So in order to be able to do this, first of all, you're going to have to be able to multiply the vectors by the appropriate scalar. So for example, you're going to have to multiply the vector v1 by 2, and then you're also going to have to be able to multiply the vector v3 by 3. So in order to multiply a vector by a scalar, remember that you simply multiply the scalar by each component of the vector. So for instance, to find 2v1, you would have to take each component of the vector v1, the 2, the 5, and the 0, and multiply each of these by 2. Once you're done multiplying the vectors by the scalars, you're going to have to perform the addition and subtraction indicated in the question. Remember that to add or subtract vectors, what you do is add or subtract the individual components of the vector. So for example, you would take the first component of the two vectors and add or subtract them accordingly, and then do the same thing for the second component and for the third component. So go ahead, try this out, hit the pause button, and then hit play when you're ready to continue. So hopefully you've had a chance to try this. Let's go ahead and take this up together. So what we want to find is the vector 2v1 minus v2 plus 3v3. So let's go ahead and do the scalar multiplication first. We're going to take 2 times the vector 2, 5, 0 minus the vector negative 7, 1, negative 1, plus 3 times the vector negative 2, 0, 1. So again, let's go ahead and do that scalar multiplication first. We're going to have 2 times 2 as the first component of the first vector. The 2 out front multiplies the 5, so that's the second component of our first vector. And we're going to have 2 times 0, so that's the third component of our first vector. For the second vector, we don't have to multiply by a scalar, so we can leave it as is. And for our last vector, the 3 gets multiplied by each component. So now let's go ahead and tidy this up a little bit. Our vectors become 4, 10, 0 minus negative 7, 1, negative 1 plus negative 6, 0, 3. In order to go ahead and to add these and subtract them accordingly, we're going to deal with one component at a time. So looking at the first component, we have 4 from the first vector, minus negative 7 from the second, plus negative 6 from the third. For the second component, we have 10 from the first vector, minus 1 from the second, plus 0 from the third. Lastly, for the third component, we have 0 minus negative 1 from the second vector plus 3 from the third vector. So we can go ahead and simplify. We get 4 plus 7, so 11 minus 6, which is 5. 10 minus 1 plus 0, which is 9. And 0 plus 1 plus 3, which is 4. So remember to be careful with the negative signs and remember that when we have a negative in front of a vector, we've got to remember that that negative applies to each component in the vector. In fact, if you prefer, you could think of vector subtraction as vector addition and multiplication by a scalar of negative 1. So we can think of subtracting the second vector as adding negative 1 times the second vector. So every component has that negative sign multiplied multiplying it. Again, just to recap what we did, we performed the scalar multiplication, multiplying each vector by the scalar out front. We then simplified and then went ahead and did the addition subtraction, looking at each component separately, adding or subtracting as appropriate the entries in the corresponding components of the vector. So the entries in the first component, the entries in the second, the entries in the third. And of course, as expected, we end up with a vector that has three components in it, and our answer is the vector 5, 9, 4.